the most powerful Iranian legend hero who conquered every field who had crossed the seven stages and reached the world of magic. Was that prince of Persia defeated by the Muslims during the reign of Umar ar Dada, or this character is just a fiction prince of Persia is a popular character of various video games movies and series which has also made the main character the game named Prince of Persia, which is highly famous and was also adapted into a Hollywood movie in 2010 under the same name featuring many prominent Hollywood stars. In both the game and the movie a Persian prince is depicted performing extraordinary feats that are beyond the capabilities of an ordinary person. Because of this many people have questions in their minds about whether this prince portrayed in games and movies and often seen in fantasies is based on reality or if he is just a fictional character. In reality the character of the present era is based on a real historical figure and this personality is rooted in the accounts of the past particularly in the epic tales of Rustam from the Shahnameh of Ferdowsi. Even today in the Persian world which extends to various regions people consider him their hero and take pride in naming their children after him. Ferdowsi's famous poem, Shahnameh of Ferdowsi, frequently mentions the epic of Rustam depicting him as a powerful ruler and a superhero. The real name of this figure was Rustam Farooq Zat, and before the advent of Islam, during the Sasanian era he was renowned as one of the best commanders and warriors. If he entered the battlefield and no one dared to compete with him and he excelled in intelligence and practical leadership. Rostam Farooq Zat belonged to the prestigious Isfabad family of Persia and it is noteworthy that he was the same capable individual who during the time of Prophet Muhammad was the king of Iran. However like other rulers he resisted accepting Islam despite efforts by Prophet Muhammad to invite him. It is crucial to remember that he was the same visionary ruler who was the emperor of Iran during the era of Prophet Muhammad and received the invitation to Islam from him. However this stubborn individual tore the blessed letter of Prophet Muhammad symbolizing his defiance. In reality when he was reading the letter he was actually breaking apart his empire with his own hands. Due to his decision his seven descendants revolted including Rustam himself. These rebels united, marched on Rum captured Khusro Pervez and placed his son Sharoya on the throne. Later Sharoya under unfortunate circumstances died due to illness and his sister took charge. Witnessing this Rustam's father established his own independent rule in northern Iran and subsequently other rulers also declared their autonomy. Shiroya's brother witnessing his father betrayal killed him and continued the rule. This traitor who disrespected Prophet Muhammad's letter met his fate as his son Shiroya perished due to illness and the throne was taken over by his sister. She in turn cunningly killed Rustam's father and took control. Afterward, Rustam launched an attack seized the throne and thus begins the journey of Rustam from this point onward. If we search the Prince of Prussia in the historical books there are two historical figures mentioned named Rustam the first was that Rustam of ancient times who was a soldier of King Kakao's about which a long talismanic story is famous and the second one is Rustam wrestler who was killed in the Battle of Kadzia in Iran during the reign of Umar in this video we will know about these two historical characters and see which character lives up to the title of Prince of Persia Rustam of before. Christ is mentioned in Persian novels and legend books according to which in ancient Iran when the Qian government was established so a boy was born to the wife of a brave soldier Zal in Sistan who was named Rustam. According to Tabari this was the period when Prophet Musa, A.S., migrated from Egypt with the Israelites and they lived in the Sinai Desert at exactly the same time the Kayani Kingdom was shining with great splendor in Iran it was the age before Zoroastrianism on the throne of Iran a king named Kaikaz was abdicated. Both Rustam and his father were brave soldiers of kingdom when Afraziab king of Tehran invaded Iran so the Kiani king Kaikaz called Rustam to the capital for help Rustam was popularly known as Rustam Dostan he was a very brave and courageous soldier. The Kayan king sent Rustam with an army to stop Afarsiab so a bloody battle took place on the border of Turkestan between Rustam and the Turani king Afraziab in which Afraziab injured badly and ran away and Rustam proved his strength and power it is said that in the same battle Saurabh the son of Rustam himself was present on the battlefield in the army of Afraziab. While Saurabh's mother did not told Rustam that he was his son both were brave warrior wrestlers when both came face to face in the battlefield and they were fight then Rustam stuck sword in the chest of Saurabh and after that he finds out that Saurabh is his own son this painful story became famous in subcontinent and Asia as Rustam o Saurabh. However after the victory Rustam's story became famous throughout Iran and Tehran, Kaikaz pleased with Rustam's bravery gave him the rulership of Xylestan along with Sistan and gave him a silver crown which he was allowed to wear. 
An interesting twist in Rustam's story comes when Kaikaz went on a long journey the incident was like this Kaikaz had heard an ancient giant story from Iran according to which Mazandaran was a city of giants and fairies it was a mystical city located somewhere in the valleys of the Albars Valley the same Albars mountain was also known as ko e so Kaikaz set out in search of this talismanic city and traveled for months. In this journey he got lost that he did not return for many years so Rustam went out in search of King Kaikaz and he also started looking for Mazandaran. The people told him that King Kaikaz was imprisoned by a white giant and he would have to pass seven stages to reach the white giant Rustam began this dangerous journey at each destination Rustam had to face various dangers and strange creatures. Crossing all these stages Rustam finally reached the seventh stage this mythical journey of Rustam is called Hafkawani Rustam. The description of each of them is present in the stories and legends of Iranian literature which is also recorded by Ferdowsi in Shahnama however. After reaching the seventh stage Rustam faced the white giant Rustam bravely fought the giant and killed him then released King Kaikaz and he brought back him to Iran it is said that Rustam had a long life of 600 years in the same period Zoroaster came and the Iranian government accepted the Zoroastrian religion. At the time of King Gastasab when Rustam was 610 years old even at that age he was a strong and brave general but Rustam's brother Sagar tricked him into a cave in which a straight carriage sword was sold. Rustam could not cure from his wounds and this great general of Iran disappeared from the page of Persian history and thus ends the great age of ancient Iran although the history of this period is full of legends and mythical stories but for the people of Iran that age was always a cause of pride for them this ancient story of Persia is presented in Iranian mythology as a superhero with supernatural powers. If we mention Rustam of era of Umar our data then history tells us that a person of that era named Rustam Farukzad was who was born in Balkh, Iran, during Sassanid period. Rustam Farukzad was considered one of the great wrestlers and brave men of that era his power and strength was an example in the whole of Persia. During the reign of Sassanid king Khusru Parvez the area of Khorasan was ruled by Rustam in the age of Khusru Parvez a bright sun rose in Mecca and Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, started Dawah and preaching the Islam for some years several kings ascended the throne of Iran but later all were killed. Finally, in 632 CE, Rustam united all the kings of Persia and reunited Iran under one banner and placed Yazjid the grandson of Khusru Parvez on the throne of Iran. This was the period when Umar ibn Khattab Ari, was the caliph of the Islamic kingdom Rustam knew that if the Muslims were not stopped the thousand-year empire of Persia would be destroyed so he started attacking Islamic areas Hazrat Umar once remarked that he wished there were mountains of fire between the Muslims and the Iranians so that neither side could launch an attack on the other. This statement was made because the Iranians were uneasy about the strength of Islam and they were secretly engaging in espionage activities around the Islamic fortress in Medina. Observing this situation they neither accepted Islam nor lived peacefully Hazrat Umar Ardada declared war and prepared for battle. Subsequently, a Muslim army was assembled under the command of Hazrat Saad bin Abi Waqqas stationed near the strategic location of Qadisiyah. Meanwhile Rustam the Iranian commander had already gathered a large army under his supervision. Between the two armies there was a trench named Atik. Qadisiyah was an ancient gateway to Iran and Shah Yazdegar had sent it to counter the Islamic forces. He stationed an 80,000 strong army there taking four months to reach the location. Despite having no intention of fighting he was disheartened by the astrologers who predicted his defeat stating that if he engaged in the battle he might face death. Therefore, he wished for the Muslims to be patient and withdraw so he could return without a fight. Before the battle began Hazrat Saad sent a diplomatic envoy led by Noman bin Mukarram Qais bin Zarara, Asim bin Umair, and many others to Yazdegar. Facing them with contempt Yazdegar was told by Noman bin Mukarram that they had come to eradicate polytheism and idolatry from the world. Those who did not accept Islam were given the option to pay jizya for their protection or face the sword. The response left Yazdegar embarrassed prompting him to retreat and consult Rostam stating that he would bury them in the soil of Cadicia. He sent a filled basket to Asim, which Asim considered a noble gesture. However, Asim perceived it differently, viewing it as an opportunity to bury Rostam in the soil of Cadicia. Before the battle began, Rostam sent a message, asking the Muslims to cross the trench or wait for them to approach. Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, instructed his forces to invite them to Islam and offer them protection or engage in battle if they refused. 
On the first day of the battle the Iranians sent their elephants forward causing anxiety among the Muslim horses. However, the Muslims managed to gain control and on the following day a companion discovered a weakness in the elephant formation. Taking advantage of this they deployed a camel covered in black cloth leading the elephants to retreat in fear. Rostam's army faced defeat and in the course of the battle Rostam's throne fell. Rostam and his forces although valiant were unable to withstand the Muslim army. On the fourth day a severe storm disrupted the Iranian camp, causing havoc and resulting in the collapse of Rostam's throne. He and his army retreated and the Muslims emerged victorious. In which the Muslim defeats the soldiers of Iranians. The Iranian army started retreating suddenly Rustam gave the last blow along with an army but the Muslim soldiers attacked from the south in such a way that the Iranian soldiers fled Rustam hide under a Donkarai's fall and legacy of Rostam. Persian mythology at that time a soldier Alkama saw him and killed him. As soon as Rustam was killed the Iranian army was scattered and the voices of Takbir began to rise in the Islamic army. In this way this thousand-year kingdom of Persia ended and the Sassanid government including Rustam was wiped out. If we examine the character of these two personalities, the story of Rustam Dostan before Christ looks like a hero whereas Rustam of Battle of Katsiya is seen as a coward who turns his back on the war and runs away. Therefore, the strength and bravery of Rustam Dostan qualifies him for the title of Prince of Persia however, later due to the attacks of Alexander the Great, all the documents and books related to Rustam were destroyed. But in every era, poets, writers and artists kept this character of Rustam alive in history several western novels were written under the name of Prince of Persia, many legends and stories were written in which a Persian prince Dostan is shown performing various activities similarly, mythology was presented in a new way through modern technology, various video games were also made in the name of Prince of Persia, Shadow and Slam, Prince of Persia Classic and Prince of Persia 3D. Rostam is a legendary and heroic figure in Persian mythology particularly in the Shahnameh an epic poem written by the Persian poet Ferdowsi in the 10th century. Rostam's story is a central part of Persian folklore and has become an integral part of Iranian cultural identity Rostam is often depicted as a noble and powerful hero known for his extraordinary strength, courage, and loyalty Rostam's legacy extends beyond Persian mythology and literature. He is seen as a symbol of strength, honor and resilience in Iranian culture. His stories have been retold and celebrated in various forms of art including literature poetry and visual arts. Rostam's character continues to influence Persian literature art and even modern media. His legacy is often invoked to convey the virtues of heroism loyalty and the enduring spirit of the Iranian people. Overall Rostam's legacy in Persian mythology represents the archetypal hero embodying virtues and confronting challenges that resonate deeply within Iranian cultural identity.